first trip of the year, we are spending 12 days traveling around Taiwan. Today, we are taking the high-speed rail up to Daijang. This underrated gem of a city is known as the birthplace of milk tea and is home to some of the coolest cafes in all of Taiwan. Right now, we are lining up to get our tickets for the high-speed railway. I think they're aiming for this one. Since we're waiting for the train, that's a direct stop to Daijung. We have about an hour to kill. I think we're gonna try to look for a Taiwanese bento. Finally try one. It looks so delicious, actually. There's a bunch of different ones around the station. Let's look for a good one. This one is quite small and there's no queue. So for just 100 NTD, you can have a veggie option, a chicken option, or a pork chop. This one looks like the classic train bento. There's quite a line for this one, so I think I'm gonna check this out. So there are classic pork chop bentos, chicken bentos. There's also a Starbucks, another coffee shop, and the Mr. Donut. Seven Eleven also has their own fried chicken bentos. Family Mart has different kinds of tea. More bento options. There's a vegan bento, pork bento, pork and mackerel, and and pork shrimp. So right now we are at the high-speed railway station waiting for our train to Daijung which will be about 42 minutes. You really want to allot probably an hour just to kind of enjoy the train station because it's pretty massive. I'm at a 7-Eleven. And a Miss Croissant. If you can see me, you can do laps. You can do laps. So we're looking for our seats right now. So it's super spacious and they have these trays you can eat your bento on. Thank you. So here's our bento unveiling. So this one has a fried pork chop, bean curd, tea egg, and pickled veggies. Pork chop. Tea egg, mackerel, pickles, broccoli. So I just took a bite out of this. I thought it was a pork chop, but it's actually fish. Nice fried fish fillet. This is from Ralph's Bento. It's a fried mackerel. Another thing that I appreciate about Taiwanese food is that there's so many veggies in it. I feel like I've had a crazy amount of veggies on this trip. So how'd you find your first Taiwanese train bento? I'd do it again. What's your favorite part of it? The price.
Good morning from Taichung. It's our first morning here, and we're just getting ready to go out, look for some danbing and coffee, to start our day. This place is kind of unusual because you leave your shoes at the front. So every day before you go out, you have to grab your shoes and put them on. caught our eye yesterday on the way to the hotel and it's called Old Tree Cafe. We also just noticed this group of people across the street and I think they're sitting down to draw the old tree. Yeah. So the group is here. Old Tree Cafe is here. And Ralph found a Danbing place right over here. So what are you going to get? 
So it's probably gonna be the Fujo dry pasta plus the mixed fish ball soup. 100 pages tofu. Hundred pages tofu. So we have the fujo ball and the shrimp ball and the swordfish ball. Ah, so this really is the fujo ball because it's got stuff inside. Peppery. Supposed to mix it better. Man, that's really good. Out of respect to Archie, you gotta finish this. <laughs> Super fresh seafood that you can eat on the counter. Sausages are very on trend. These fruits are so cute. The end of this alley looks to be a shrine. Sun Moon Lake Black Tea. Should I try this? Museum of Old Taiwan Tiles.
all found this pin on Google Maps, which is supposed to be like this cat's hangout area. I think this is it. No cat, but this must be the place. He's definitely taken care of. Some very cute bowls here. Had to stop and take a photo of this sign. of cheesecake.
green jersey. Yeah, no, right, yep. So what a girl